What's good, Wave Gang? It's your boy, AP Waves, back with another video, man. And real quick, before we get into this video, I gotta mention it again. It's been a couple videos since I mentioned it. I'm up to 31 friends, okay? So if you're new to the gang, hit that subscribe button and go over and add your boy in game, AP underscore Waves, okay? So with that being said, we are going to be doing another episode of cool fun and useful synergy teams right it's a little series that i tried to start and i'm gonna i'm not gonna give up on it listen it was it was an idea i had i started doing it when the when you know uh when the channel first started out um and uh it, you know it didn't really pick up the traction that i was looking for but you know what we're gonna make it we gonna listen we're gonna make it work okay so basically the premise of this is for you guys that are new to the channel is I come up with teams in my head, you know, because I'm a, I'm a comic book nerd uh, of, of teams that I think would uh, be cool, like, you know, in, in, the, in the comic books that also could transfer over to MCOC and be a useful team. Cool, fun, and useful. So the, so the cool and, and, and the fun are... Um, those are left up for um, you to decide if you think. See, because I personally think they're cool, and I personally think they're fun. But the useful part of it is something that's going to be not up for debate. Like, I always want to make sure that you have a couple useful champions. So, it's not just a hodgepodge team thrown together that doesn't work, right? So, there is some rhyme or reason to where I'm uh, putting these, you know, teams together. But also, I want I want you to be able to get through a quest, right? Without really wasting revives. Because there's no point in being fun and cool if you can't get the job done. So overall, that is the premise when it comes to uh, the purpose of this video. Okay? So if this is something that you guys are interested in, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Like, yo... AP, we rocking with these videos, man. Keep them up, okay? Because I know I've been doing the list, and uh, you guys have been rocking with that. So, therefore, the list are going to keep coming. So, if this is something that you want to see continue on the channel, let me know. Show me some love, man, and we're going we gonna to keep it rocking. But that's enough talking. We're going to uh, see this side This side event. It's cool. I like it. It's a quick, short uh, quest to where we can... Uh, we can show what the deal is. And as you can see, I should have made a disclaimer. This team is a little on the OP side. You feel what I'm saying? And I want to show you how OP it can be with this, but also I'm gonna show you a variation to where it kinda um, it kinda takes that down a little bit, but it's still with the with the vibe. So um, what I would do to switch it up just to, you know, not like if you're like, okay, you know, this team is way too good. Okay, I get you. I'm with you on that one. And uh, we could swap out. I would swap out him. And then the next one I would swap out is uh, Captain Marvel 4. Where's he at? That's the one. I would swap Captain Marvel out for... Your boy Iron Man, right? Okay, so that's a, that's a variation of of the switch up right there. But for the sake of this video, the reason why I, I'm not gonna have it like that because I want to show you something cool that can be done with it. So let's get back to the original team. Throw Hawkbuster back in there, and uh, see, I'm I'm excited to. Uh, to get this um, cyber weekend because I told you guys I'm holding off on all rank ups you feel what I'm saying until then I want to see what my roster looks like before and I want to see what it looks like after so she might be a possibility because if I'm you know just throwing some caution into the wind I would guess that uh we're gonna get you know rank up gem and if I get a cosmic it might go to Captain Marvel you know and uh she might be working her way up to rank two because I have the uh, I have the five star max sig, 
You know what I mean? But, you know, at this point in time, it's progressing towards investing in six stars. And I personally, without getting too far off to topic of this video, I personally um, don't see anything wrong with having a, a uh, both of the, like if you have a five star and a six star version of a very good champion, I see nothing wrong with ranking both of them up. Because if, if push comes to shove, you can take them one into an incursion run and then another into an incursion run. And when I start incursion, uh, incursions with the subs i want champions like that ranked up so you know i can use them on multiple runs but let's get into this man let's get it there, there's no way you shake there's no way that you can shake this down and it not be good right um but the problem is is that agent venom is really not like i don't have a champion that's like super great against agent venom so let's just see if we can uh, build up Captain Marvel. You know, I really don't like going against Agent Venom, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not playing him right. See, that's why. We're just gonna do these parries then. Oh, see? Look at that synergy saving my life. Build up some power. I really, uh, I really wanted to figure out a way to get Guardian into this team, but honestly, Guardian doesn't really make sense with this team. And uh, I'm about to hit y'all with so much Guardian gameplay that you guys are gonna be sick of it. So uh, let's see if we can. What's this man now? This might be bad. That was terrible. That was terrible. Oh, that man. And we lost minimal health. Wasn't the best gameplay, but uh, hey, got through the fight, right? That's all that matters. Got through the fight, on to the next. Who should we really use against Rhino? Well, let's just go with Nick Fury. I'm gonna show you guys the way that I like to fight Nick Fury since I run suicides. I don't wanna just get him to the next phase. Like, he still does so much um, damage in the life model decoy stage that, like, I don't mind playing him like he's such a good uh buffer of a champion who is like uh kind of like uh, dummy proof like when you take punches to the face like that i hate rhino and then i just throw my specials with like no regard for anything because once we get down to um suicide i mean once we get down you know we're just going regen back up and then i once he gets to the second life then i start kind of playing cautious but uh when nick fury's in his um when he's in his you know uh you know i'm talking about first phase i kind of just don't really care uh yeah longest relationship turtling should i try to quake on camera no we'll say we'll save that uh, I've been practicing Quake. He's not too great with it yet. Let's go. See, Magneto is way better now, but, like, Captain Marvel don't care about none of that, man. She really don't. She's so good. Like, look. I'm not trying to make this a Captain Marvel showcase, but come on. She's just... Too good. So, um... With guillotine 29, I think the uh, the proper way to get her down. Let's see. Let's see if we can blitz her. Down. No, <laughs> no. How much? How much is this? Oh wow! 
Can we recover? Not that way. Captain Marvel is such a freaking beast, dude. Like, she, she can't be, you know, you can't call her underrated because <clears throat> everybody knows how good she is, right? And she's, she's very properly rated. But, she doesn't get enough love. Like, Captain Marvel needs some more love. And that's with the fact that she gets the amount of love that she does. Okay, the cool thing that I want to show, which is, I mean, it may not be cool to you, but it was kind of cool to me. Um, real quick, I'm not finishing Cavalier this month. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, kind of boring. Straight up. Like, I'm just going to keep it real. It's kind of, like, hitting me with the same quest. Like, just different fights. Same nodes back-to-back -back month. Listen. If you're not close to, or like, okay, A, if you already have Thronebreaker, or B, you're not close to Thronebreaker, I don't feel like there's any point in pushing this month. Now, if you're close to Thronebreaker, and you know, if you can get that, that, that crystal, and it can help you get over the top to get the catalyst you need, by all means, go for it. But if not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really care. I don't really care about this month. I'm already Thronebreaker, nothing that I, that I have to like really go for so it is what it is it's, it, it, and it's not even like I'm mad I'm not mad about it at all but it just you know I was able to finish variant one this month so I'm not too mad but like it, last month already burnt me out on these nodes so going for it again now the cool thing I want you to show wanted to show you is this is this track right and with the way that this team is set up bam look at that you know it turns Captain America into an absolute animal. Love it. This note's kind of annoying. And Hawkbuster. See, I, I I already tried to take this with Hawkbuster, but his shocks fall off so fast that like it's so you gotta play so funky to keep this track up. But it, it's possible. And obviously you have Nick Fury, so and Captain Marvel, if you play aggressive enough, can keep the armor breaks up to to just put something down. But you know, with having your tech, your um science and your cosmic you're getting all the debuffs for um, captain america and it just turns in, him into an absolute whoa animal yes granted um like i said in the beginning of the video i understand that this team is super op that's not the uh the point of these teams if you go back and look at some of the other teams, yes, I put some OP champions in those teams, but it wasn't necessarily my goal to make the most overpowered team. But I just thought, like, now that Hawkbuster was, you, you know, uh, buffed, I just thought this was, you know, pretty cool. So it's more or less me just trying to get this team out there to people to understand, like, hey, wait, we can seriously take this team to end game content. My goal with this series is to show you guys different, um, you know, teams that you can take to the monthly event to make it funner for that you know what i'm saying because people not everybody <coughs> excuse me not everybody is ready for you know yes it's nice to watch videos on you know in-game content but not everybody's there sometimes people just want to uh see videos about um stuff that's going to get them or at least i want to be the one to show videos about things that can make the everyday grind easier for you guys. Um, so, I, I, I kind of wanted to have a little fun twist on how that can be. So, with that being said, I know that this team is a little, like, in-game-ish, right? But, it was just cool. And I wanted to get it out there. So, I promise you, uh, my next episode of this will be... If, if you guys want to see, my next episode of this will be a little more... Um, how do I want to say it? it'll be a little more uh, what's the word I'm looking for convenient a little bit more accessible for everybody I tried to play with looking at the screen and I got smacked 
<laughs> I was trying to watch the computer and it's like on a little delay. So I just got wrecked. No. No. I love Nick Fury. And how do I get hit on that? Oh well. See, this is how I play him uh, regularly. I I just I don't care if I'm in life model decoy phase. I'm throwing them special suicides and all. Suicides and all. And uh, yeah, um, once I practice up with Quake a little bit more. Listen, quake and listen. I quake and bake. I got a parry. You, you feel me? Like I can't, um, you know, I can't play like all the, you know, quake masters out there. But we gonna get there one day. We gonna get it as best as I can get it. And that's all that matters to me. But with that being said, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Let me know if there's uh, more teams that you guys want to see. Be on on the lookout for you know more of the list i haven't i'm having so much fun doing these top five lists uh and i got some more already in store for you guys so i'm excited to get those out there um of course we're gonna do more crystal openings when the time comes uh hit the like button hit that subscribe button join the gang and holla at your boy